just knocked him down tonight, really. Where, you guys watched the game together last night? Uh, no, I think everybody, we chipped in in the group chat of like scores and stuff. That's about it. How much uh, other AC games do you guys watch? Um, we, a lot of us are basketball jokies, so we watch basketball all the time. Everybody probably watched the Kansas, Oklahoma game. Uh, we try to catch up with all the ACC games. And uh, if we're not catching up with it, somebody's giving updates in that group chat. So we're, we're always involved in what's going on in the league and around college basketball. We're all fans of basketball, so we're not just going to focus on our game. That's the that's norm. What if we, if we had a glimpse in the group chat during the, the final possessions of the huh? Duke-Virginia uh, game? What would it look like? Um, nobody really said anything until he made the shot. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew what was going to happen. What was the reaction? Was it well, <laughs> amazed or? what everybody else was saying, did he travel? He got fouled? <laughs> we, we don't know. If you watch a lot of guys are going, watch a lot of college basketball, do you have you heard some of the studio people and some of, some of the color guys say at times, boy, if North Carolina would just play defense more mm -hmm. consistently, a little bit more effort consistently, mm -hmm. they might be the team to beat. When you hear that, what do you think? Um, basically, they're sort of right. I mean, you see that today. Once once we lock down, we can we can be special. And uh, just some nights, we just gotta we gotta be a little bit more focused. What's been the dif difference for Chest in the last two games? Um, I mean, the shots going in the ball's going in the basket. I mean, he's been playing this game that while he was struggling, he was just it just wasn't going in. And now. Once you see that ball go through the hoop a couple times, your confidence goes up, and that's what it is right now. You seem really more motivated against BC, and it kind of carried over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it was just a little message, um, and he took it. He took the challenge, and uh, came out with a big game for us. Justin and Marks's offense both kind of took a dip there for a while. In the second game in a row, they have both kind of risen to the occasion. How does it change the dynamic of this offense when those guys are, are, are scoring that way? Uh, it's a big difference. It's a big uh, boost for us because we know what our bigs can do for us. They're, they're awesome around the basket. And uh, we, we knew Justin and Marcus were going to get out of it at some point. I mean, they're really good players and dudes, guys who have been scoring the ball their whole life, so we weren't really worried about it. Just a matter of time until they got out of the little funk. Defensively, you guys forced, I think, they had 19 turnovers today. How much of that was you guys face guarding well, and how much of that was them just kind of making mistakes? What's Active. Happening? Active. We might make a little mistake there, but we have somebody else covering for our brother. How cool. It seemed like you guys were making a point to bring some help over and get some steals that way. I think mm -hmm. you got 10 steals today. Uh, Joe mm -hmm. had the one where Marcus face guard his guy. Was yeah. that kind of a, a mindset going up, like, hey, like, come over and take a swipe if you can get a chance? Um, basically, it was just staying, um, paying attention to the scout report. I mean, there's some guys that we can help a little longer on. We can help off of, and uh, Joel had a good read. He saw the dudes all balanced and went to go take it. And uh, it was just active hands and being active on the defensive end that helped us tonight. Is it the best defense you guys have played since Maryland? That was the one that gave Yeah, play guaranteed. Play. guaranteed. Bryce said that the difference with Justin the last couple of games, he's actually been more relaxed. He's had more fun. Mm. Is that characterizing that he was maybe playing a little tight because he was putting a lot of pressure on himself? And when you relax, you can actually be more aggressive? I mean, I think that goes with everybody. I mean, when you're struggling, you're trying to figure out what can I do to help this team? And he just felt like he wasn't making shots for us. And we told him just not to worry about it, just play basketball. And you could just tell in his demeanor and the way he was playing that he was just relaxed and just playing basketball, having fun. And uh, that's one thing I try to do at all times, just have fun playing the game. And then the results will be favoring him in a way. Could you tell early when he got in the game against BC that there was something different? Because he went, first possession, he went like reckless abandon after an offensive yeah. rebound. He didn't get it. Yeah. But it was a little different than what we had seen before. Yeah, you could just see a little pep in the step with some guys. Uh, you could see that he had a little giddy up to him in that game. He made the first couple shots. And, you knew, all right, he's getting a little groove. Let's, let's ride this wave and get him the ball and see what plays he can make. He made some huge plays second half, which uh, helped us out a lot I, in the I, BC game. I think you guys did three combined for 12 assists today. What was what mm -hmm. was there for you to like, Um, I mean, ready? me and Justin, we're really good at finding our teammates. Justin's a really good scorer, and he's a really good passer also. And that's just one thing I've always done, just try to get my teammates open, get them where they like the, uh, where they like the ball. On the whole, this team is distributed.